MLB The Show has baseball from the Lone Star State as we get a look inside Globe Life Park. Today, it's the finale of this four-game set between the American League's Houston Astros and the Texas Rangers. The two men you see there go head-to-head. -head. Coming up... Doug Pfister is the man on the mound for the fourth game of the series. Dan Pleszak, what do you got? Hey, every team needs a pitcher like this one here. His numbers aren't going to blow you away. Career ERA just under four. But one thing he does, he takes the ball every five days, throws strikes, and gives his team a chance to win every single time he goes out there. He'll be fun to watch in this one here today. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Scorch to third. And Beltre throws on to first for the out. Now here's a look at the Astros starting lineup. Mark, how do they go about breaking out the brooms on the road? Matty, this lineup is built on one thing. Their best tool is the fact that they have amazing speed up and down the lineup. I don't I don't even think the third base coach gives a steal sign. I think a lot of these guys have the green light. So be on the lookout for that today. Batting third, second baseman. Into the box, Jose Altuve. Lifetime against Doug Fister. He's hitting 429. First delivery to him on the way. And right into the shift. And a diving effort there at third. Good way to bruise your ribs. How much for one of them ribs? It's a foul ball. Fister. A right-hander that stands six foot eight. He was selected in the seventh round or in the first-year player draft of 2006. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. And a close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. Garrett Cole, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. Dan Pleszak, what's the word on him? Matt, I'm a big fan of Garrett Cole. Big, strong guy. Former first-round draft pick out of UCLA. 96 to 98 miles an hour with sink. Hard slider. His changeup has gotten better the longer he's pitched. He has a chance to be a no-hit type of pitcher every time he takes the mound. Now another 1-2. Now on the swings and misses here as they're able to set him down for the first out. Now time now to look at Jeff Bannister's Rangers lineup card in this one. Who do you have your eye on, Dan? Well, I'm always excited when I get to see Adrian Beltre do his thing. Go look at the numbers. He hit over 310 last year and was consistent most of the year. I'm looking forward to him having another solid campaign. Behind 0-2 now. Now a swing and a weak little line drive over to first. But this will be taken easily at first, and there are two gone. Third baseman. Striding into the box, Adrian Beltre. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Cole has his target. Here's the 0-1. Fouled off. Now a fastball as he has to lean out of the way there. Ready to deliver the one and two. Soft liner towards short. And this will be taken down no problem for the final out of the inning. On to the second inning now for Marlington. Next up for the Strohs, Will Clark. Leading He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. Will First offering on its way. Popped him up. Gallo ranging into the outfield. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Swing and a little tapper. That's a foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Hit down the line at first. And he'll take this to the bag himself. And the leadoff man set down to start the second. Time for a look at the Rangers on D. And let's focus on third baseman Adrian Beltre, a future Hall of Famer. Nothing this guy can't do. Probably the best in the business at coming in on that slow roller with that underhand bazooka to first base. George Springer swings and misses there, so he's down 0-1. 
Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. Now a dive, but he can't get there, and this is going to be trouble out there in left center. He hit the corner and tries for third, and he's safe. The speed they always talk about with this guy was on full display there. Yeah, when you've got elite speed like this guy does, Matt, you don't need any help from the fielders to give you more time. He's thinking extra bases as soon as the ball gets to the outfield, and that time, he wanted three. And that'll bring up the former first-rounder, Alex Bregman. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Now a swing and a chance for the third baseman, Beltre. Only play is going to be at first, so that'll go as an RBI that brings home the opening marker of the ballgame. Right fielder. Stepping in is Josh Reddick. He'll try and start things over now with the bases empty and two away following the RBI ground ball. Little tapper down the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself. Here's Joey Gallo now. He was hitless Leading in yesterday's shutout loss, as were first many of his line. teammates. Joey A ball Gallo. and no strikes. Eight. A ball and a strike. You know, from an offensive standpoint, they already knew they had their work cut out for him against a great pitcher. But if he's going to locate like that, this is going to be a tough day. And he lays off again, ball three. The 3-1. Three Finds the zone to fill the count, three and two. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Time for a look at the Strohs on D. And guys, the things I want you to focus on today, one of them being this manager loves to shift. He has the pitch and step to trust to be able to manipulate his defense to try and get as many outs and play the numbers as much as he can. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. That fastball must have a little late life on it because that was right in the wheelhouse and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it. Big swing, and this one's launched to right field and deep. Gone! Here's Rogan at door now. That is a swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. Fastball called for strike two. Pretty good pitch to hit there that he let go. I know it's early, they're probably wanting to run his pitch count up, but. He may not get another pitch like that to swing at the rest of the game. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. Bases are empty, one man out. Here's a swing and a high pop up, drifting toward the third base dugout. Bregman is over now, and he's got it for route number two. Shinsu Chen Su Chu at the plate Kevin now, trying to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Four one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fastball, and that thing got up there at 95 miles an hour. A ball and a strike. The one-two. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. The next one-two pitch. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. Lifetime against Doug Fister. He's 0 for 7. No, not fielder, number nine. First pitch Marwin coming. Here it is. Gonzalez. Grounded foul off to the right side. Looking at his career totals, Gonzalez has a slugging percentage a little over 425, a respectable number. Smoke toward the hole, and this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. So the Astros put a man aboard to get the inning underway. Here's the catcher, Brian McCann. He too had three knocks in yesterday's win. Hey, Dan, this guy's having a monster series on the road. Were you aware of the home road splits? I think every player is, and sometimes it's a matter of being either comfortable on the mound or comfortable in a batter's box in some visiting ballparks and some guys quite frankly like it better on the road than they do at home. 
First pitch of the at bat on its way. Rounded down the third baseline. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. This guy's one of the best bunters in the league, but with two outs, I'm not sure that's a really good play right now. He might be forced to go ahead and swing the bat and try to get an extra base hit here with two outs. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Popped up, Andrews on the move. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. Ready for another chance. Kenny Lofton 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Boy, that's what wheels can do for you, Dero. You can see this right here on this replay. He just simply outruns. Meanwhile here, the throw down to second is not in time, and it's a stolen base. Set. Here's the 0-1. Pitch misses low. The throw down. He's not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. Hard on the ground towards short. There is Andrus. Throw in time and the side is retired. Up next for the Rangers, Robinson Chirinos. They'll lead the things Rangers. off against Garrett Cole. Gotcha. And that's Robinson in there for a strike. Chirino. You know, Matty, when I first broke into the league, you wouldn't see that high heater first pitch right out of the gate. But I think there's been a change in, in philosophy here. Back in the late 90s, early 2000s, guys wanted to attack you more east-west, get you leaning left-right. Now you're seeing guys attack in the philosophy more north-south. Just with launch angles and exit velocities, I think guys are afraid to throw that sinking that fastball for fear that guys are just going to run their barrel into it. Jerick Not the case with the high Profile. fastball. Here's Jerickson Profar. As he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe. One strike now from Cole. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Now the one and one pitch. Fouled away. One out, nobody on. Missed with a breaking ball. Wow, that was a decent breaking ball right there, but that's just a pitch that's a little easier to lay off of when you're opposite hand and opposite bat. You can see the sweep of the ball coming right into you. That was a great take. Skied into very shallow right. There to take it is Reddick, and there are two gone now. A shortstop, number one. Elvis Stepping Andrews. in and ready for another shot. Elvis Andrews looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Strike one to start the at bat. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Now the one and one pitch. Taken strike two. One ball, two strikes. The one two. In front of the change up there is this is chopped foul at home plate. Line toward the alley in left center. And that is in there for a two out base knock. Danny, I know that's not the execution he was looking for right there. That batter's eyes lit up on that pitch. Not a real good changeup. One of the things Mark, this pitcher will do, he'll use that changeup like most pitchers will use. And hold on there. That's not going to get him in there with the stolen base. And a fastball just a bit up tough situation for him right here. I mean, he's got an open base, so he doesn't have to get into this guy, but there's definitely danger looming on deck, so you can't just completely work around him either. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. We begin the top of the fourth. Second baseman, Jose Altuve. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. And here's a sinker that causes him to back away as that just about got him. Into his windup. Here comes the 1-0. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Now 
Altuve connects. Deep left field. Gone to lead off the inning. Right now, he can't wait to get to the plate against this pitching staff. Four home runs in this series. Then he wishes he could play these guys every single day. Into the box, Will Clark. Swung on, and this one's driven in the air as well to deep right field. And it's gone as they add still another. Wow, back to back to start the inning. Talk about putting a pitcher on notice. On the mound, you almost have to completely forget okay. about those and, and try to convince it. yourself you're starting George. the inning over fresh. No one on, no one out. Here's George Springer. He found his way over to third via a triple in his first at bat. Chopped weakly to the left. Belpre has to hurry on to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Third baseman. Striding in for Houston, Alex Bregman. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Here's Beltre. Reined in. Pro gets him, two down. Now batting. Right fielder. Digging in for his second Josh at bat, Reddick. Josh Reddick. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Grounded to the right. A door is there. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the. Digging in to try. Leading off the fourth inning. Things not, not looking one. very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. Right. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Oh, and Beltre really wanted that one, but he didn't get it. Behind 0-2 now. And Beltre wisely lays off that one. 1-2. One and two. The pitch. And this is swung on and missed, and this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout. And there's one away. Up next for the Rangers. Riding in once again, Joey Gallo, Gallo. Who was a strikeout victim in his first try. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 and 0. Oh. A good tailing fastball for a strike, 1 and 1. Look into McCann, the 1 1. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. One run, two hits, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. Counts even 2 and 2 to Joey Gallo. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. He loses him on ball four. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Nomar Mazzara. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. Bregman is over, and he tucks it away for the second out. Here's Rognit Odor now. He popped out in his first trip. Second baseman. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Slider and he can't pull the trigger. Two strikes. Full sets. 0-2 pitch on its way. Swing and a liner. In there. A base hit. Hey, just a nice piece of hit right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball. Stay square as long as possible and feed it into the opposite Ooh. field for a base hit. Ooh. He pulls this one into right, and he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. Leading off for the Astros, the left fielder, number nine, Marwin First offering Gonzalez. on its way. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. And goodbye, this one ain't coming back. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here, is not the end of the world. Here's the catcher, Brian McCann. Four runs, six hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point.
ground ball right into the ship. Going to be a tough play, and they will not get him at first as he's able to leg out the throw. Here's Carlos Correa now, a hit in two tries so far. First delivery to him on the way. Strike taken, the throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. McCann stands at second with no outs. Grounded to short. Andrus fields it cleanly. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. The batter, Digging in seven. once again, Kenny Lofton. He was hitter. retired via Kenny the ground ball Lofton. last time up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Slapped hard the opposite way. And that's in there. Base hit. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. Make it 5-1. to one. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Boy, you know, in today's game, d row pitches are being taught high velocity. Go get ahead, strike one. Boy, that didn't work for that. And he's in the second safely with a stolen base. Still only one out in the inning. Runner goes for third. Pitch outside. The throw he is not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. The 2 0 hit on the ground to short. Andrus has it. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Now batting. The first thing. Digging in and looking for more, Will Clark. There was a solo shot for him in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. Sent on the ground out to second. Odor has it. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So next to the plate for Texas, for Robinson Chirinos looking to put the ball in play Robinson. here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Very weakly on the ground, but that one rolls foul. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two seamer, and that's out number one. Digging in the now switch that hitter, Jurickson Profile. Fielder. Jerickson. And he fouls this one off. 0 oh, 1 count. Here's the pitch. A high fastball is in there. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame corner. A shortstop. Cole gets the sign. First pitch on the way. Here's a strike. Oh man, he's got a chance to strike out the side on nine pitches. Seven down, two to go. Reddick has a read on it, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the ring. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the ring. Ready for another shot now. George Springer, one for Matt two with a triple Moore. so far in this one. First pitch on its way. High in the air out to center field. Shields is there. One away. Third base. This guy's not two. wasting any time, right? Gets a first pitch fastball, and he flies out deep on the first pitch of the inning. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he is in at second base with a one out double. <laughs> You'd think they'd stop pitching to this guy by now. He's been torching them all weekend, and he stays hot here with another extra base hit. They'll be happy when this series is over, so they don't have to deal with this dude anymore. Stepping in is Josh Reddick. Runners on his way to third. Pitch misses low. The throw down. It's going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. Bregman takes his lead at third with one away. Now the one and one pitch. 
lifted down the line in left. And this will fall, but it's a foul ball. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. Popped up. Moore has a play, makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now with the plate, Marwin Gonzalez. Mano a mano matchup numbers against Matt Moore. He has a three for 12 line. Two of those hits were for home runs. Rounded back up the middle. Andres to his left. He's there. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. One left. And here's the second generation big leaguer Delino DeShields. For the and, and he and his fellow top of the Better order hitters fielding. haven't really offered much help for this lineup Don so far. Shields. No, your one, two, three guys are the ones you look to to generate a lot of action. And they just haven't been up to the task so far in this one. Still time for them to turn it around, though. We'll see if it happens. And he rings up another one. Make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take, and he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. Owen won the count. Bases are empty, one man out. Now the 0-2 to Beltran. Oh, look out. Hot shot to third, and there are two away. Up next for the Rangers, first baseman. So Joey here's the Gallo. cleanup hitter, Joey Gallo. It was a walk in his last trip. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. No balls in one strike. That's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's one and one. Two out, nobody on. Gallo swings, and this one is crushed out to right field. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. And now the power hitting outfielder, Nomar right. Mazzara. Right. The first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, one and oh. He's working on a one for two game so far. Takes a high fastball for a strike. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Springer has a read on it, and that ends the inning. Rangers draw just a bit closer thanks to this solo home run. Eric Goodell will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Eric Goodell. Ready once again. Brian McCann. He's one for two in this one. First pitch of the at bat. Fly ball out toward left center field. Beltre is calling for it. One down. So the Houston lineup turns over and to the plate Carlos Correa he's got a hit in three at bats to this point. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And it's gone. Now batter the designated hitter into the box now Kenny Lofton. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. And this will be hauled in by Andrus for route number two. The second base Digging in to try it again. Jose Altuve is working on a one for three thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And he's safe at first as he beats this one out by about a half a step. The batter. Stepping in and ready for another Will shot. Will Clark. Clark. He was a ground out victim last time up. And ready. Here's the first offering. Strike called. Now the throw down. Way late. And he's in there easily at second. And 
the runner's breaking for third. In there, now the throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Pretty unusual decision to swipe third with two outs in the inning. It's a big risk, especially with the lefty hitter up there. And the benefit isn't all that great, but he made it work out. Got him swinging. Made him chase outside the zone that time, and that puts an end to the inning. One more for the Astros. And Digging in once again, Rugnet Odor, a hitting two tries for him so far. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And it's fouled away. Batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there. That caught too much of the plate. He knew it. He missed it. He might not get another opportunity to put the ball in play. 0 oh, and 2. Here it comes. Fouled off. Here's another 0 oh, 2. And he struck him out. The 10th victim set down on strikes thus far. Ready for another oh, chance. Shin Su Chu hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Outside at 94, one ball and one strike. That's not a bad pitch right there. That two seamer moving away from a left handed hitter didn't get the strike, but I like the idea behind the pitch. And through six and a third, he's about to hit the 100 pitch mark now. Hey, you know, Matty V, this is all you can ask for as a manager in today's game in baseball. Very rarely do we see guys get through the seventh Robinson. inning, so he's through the sixth Carl here Bruno. with one out at Mark DeRosa. So far, so good. A pretty decent outing. Yeah, and I think it's going to be batter to batter here for the manager if he's going to continue to ride this hot hand or if he's going to go to the bullpen. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Fouled away. Ready with another 0 2. And he's got another one here. 12 punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the inning. Here's George Springer. He'll lead things off as they look to perhaps build on an already sizable lead. Number four. First offering on its way. Way out in front. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan Dero, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, Dero, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. Here comes another 0-2. High fly ball out to straightaway center. The shield is there, and he has it for the first out. Third base for number two. Digging in and looking for more, Alex Bregman. It was a two-bagger for him in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. Line drive to center field. The shield is there, two gone. Now batting. Right fielder. Ready Josh for another Reddick. shot now, Josh Reddick. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And he chased up and out of the zone, a swing and a miss. You know, that can really be an effective pitch for a guy that has a lot of pop. They're up there looking for a fastball up in the zone, so if you can place it a little above it, they have a hard time getting the barrel up there. And now the Ranger bullpen swings into action. A lefty and a right-hander are throwing down there. Leaps and makes a terrific catch. Here's Jurickson Profar. He starts off the inning against a guy who Leading struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Here comes the nothing in two pitch lifted down the line in left. Gonzalez is after it and they can't run it down. And it's one and two. 
Well, he's thrown a lot of pitches in this one, but it's not like he's walking a bunch of guys. Only one free pass to this point, but they're still making him work really hard. So it was a strikeout swinging. Jurickson Profar retired one. leading off Alvin the bottom of the eighth. Andrews. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Count is one and two now. One out, nobody on. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. And here's the second generation big leaguer, Delino DeShields. Two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. On the ground to third, does he have another one, two, three in him? He does. Seven in a row he's set down now. Jake Deepman enters from the pen to start the ninth the inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Deepman. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he fouls this one off. Crazy swing here on a pitch that winds up hitting him. Hmm, nothing in two. Two things pitchers really love. Called strike threes and jamming hitters. How about that? Talk about that jam right there. That's about as good as it gets. And the throw will indeed take care of him for the first down. The catcher, number 15. Here's the catcher, Brian McCann. First delivery to him on the way. Down the first baseline. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Bases are empty, one man out. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hold, 0 and 2. That's just a great pitch right there. Great execution. He just got that hitter to think that pitch was knee high. Nasty diving out of the zone. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. The batter, number one, George Stein. Here's Carlos Correa Carlos. now. His past right. history with Jake Diekman. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So, I'm well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Up next for the Rangers, Adrian Beltre, not providing much out of the three hold in this one. Hitless in three at bats so far. Strike one to start the at bat. Beltre behind with an 0 2 count now. This guy's pitching really well in this one so far. You could just see he's awful confident attacking the strike zone, and when he comes off the mound at the end of the inning, looks like he stepped in a big old bucket assassin. Up next Here's Joey Lincoln. Gallo now. He Earth went deep Franklin. last time up. We Joey all know this Gallo. guy's a real good fastball hitter. We saw how far he could hit one. He got a fastball that he liked, and he turned that thing around, and it got out of here in a hurry. And that misses for ball one. The 1-0. -oh. He's a sinker in the dirt. One out, nobody on. A two and one count to the Rangers first baseman. No dice on the knuckle curve that time. Three and one. Now a slider here, but this will miss off the plate away, and it's ball four. In now the power hitting outfielder, Nomar Mazur. The right fielder, number 30, Nomar Mazara. Here comes the Astro skipper up out of the Houston dugout. And it appears that we've seen the last here in this one of Garrett Cole. Looking at a fastball for a strike on the corner. A one count. Here's the pitch. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Now the one and one pitch. Is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Well, these hitters can expect to see a heavy dose of that big fastball from this reliever. It's a major part of his arsenal. 2-2. Uh, two -two. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. 
not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. How about it? So next Back to the plate for Texas, Rugnit Odor. Odor. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. That pitch is in triple digits. I think he had to take that one because I'm not even sure he saw it. Slider, good two strike pitch, but it misses one and two. Texas down to their final strike in this one. Close, but it's not over yet. That's ball two. Well, you don't want to get caught looking for the final out. That's a tough pitch to lay off. Impressive that he did. A full count for Odor, three balls and two strikes. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Boy, and he just won't go away as he fights off another pitch and hits it foul right at the plate. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Shinsu Chu at the plate now. And these guys are making a little push here. You have to like the effort on the first. And that will seal matters here this afternoon. 7-2 to two, the final score this afternoon. The Strode.